candidates for Chicago mayor here are making their final pitches to voters ahead of tomorrow's election. And the top candidates crisscrossed around the city over the weekend. MC finds Lisa Chavaria here in studio with us this morning for a closer look. Lisa. Hey, Michelle and JC. This is it. This is less than 24 hours before those voters go to the polls and the candidates, they are busy vying for those final votes. We caught up with them as they made their way around the city over the weekend. Paul Vallis, he is working to stay on message as his challengers question his record. Some are focusing on everything, including his social media likes. Now, Mayor Lori Lightfoot, she needs a strong voter turnout, especially in the black community. Her opponents have cut into the lakefront and independent voters that pushed her over the top four years ago. Right now, I'm not looking at who's in the left lane, who's on the right lane, who's gaining with me. Um, I'm just looking at the finish line. Obviously spending a lot of time on the south and the west side, but we'll be up um, on the north side uh, tomorrow. As I said, we're not leaving any neighborhood behind. Here's where the top candidates stand based on the latest polling. It shows Paul Vallis at 24 percent, Lightfoot at 18, Chewy Garcia at 16, and Brandon Johnson at 15 percent. Democratic strategist David Axelrod, he weighed in on the race. He says voters shouldn't count out the incumbent. But at the same time, he says it's clear Lightfoot is vulnerable. You know, it's important sometimes to clench your fist in politics and pound the table. Uh, it's also important to be able to unclench your fist sometimes and offer an outstretched hand. Chewy Garcia and Brandon Johnson both made their way around the city also throughout the weekend. Johnson is the teachers union candidate, but Garcia also has union backing as well. 